In this tech tip, we will have a quick look at the triad manipulator, which can help you to accurately move and rotate components in an assembly. First, I'll copy an existing component in this example assembly. Then right click on the component and select move with triad from the shortcut menu. A large triad will now be visible and when you drag your mouse over the arrows and the rotation rings, they will highlight. You can pick and drag on the arrows to move the component in a specific direction, such as X or Y. The planes between the arrows allow you to drag along the selected triad plane in two directions, such as the XY plane. Selecting a rotation ring allows you to rotate the model around the X, Y or Z axis. For large rotation angle increments, such as 90 degrees, hold and drag near the triad center ball. For smaller increments, drag further away from the ball. If you right click on the triad center ball, a menu appears and you can show translation or rotation, XYZ dialog boxes, move the triad to a selection or align the triad. I'll activate the translate XYZ box and note that a dialog appears and displays the X, Y and Z location of the triad. You can click into the dialog box and enter a value for any axis, and the triad and component will move position. Also, when dragging the triad, the coordinate readout will update in the box. When you are happy with the position and angle of a component, just left click anywhere in the graphics area to disable the triad. As you can see, using the triad is a handy way of manipulating components inside your assembly.